Anyone who lives or plays in moisture-rich environments, such as the jungles of Asia or South America, or in our case, the Pacific Northwest, exposure to water in some form is always going to be somewhat of a primary concern. Although a rain cover is great for short exposures to the water, it has very limited use for prolonged exposures or, in the worst case scenario, full submersion. This is where dry bags shine. Today, we're going to be looking at the all-terrain duffels from Prometheus Design Works. As with all of PDW's creations, the all-terrain duffels, or the AT duffels, are purpose-driven and designed with the adventurer in mind. Before I get into all the design features and all the details of the bag, let's talk about the specifications and measurements of the bag. The AT duffel comes in two different sizes, which you'll see here in the 45 liter version and the 60 liter version. Both these bags are in universal field gray. The 45 liter, which you'll see here on my right, is 20 inches in length, 12 inches in width, and 11 inches in height. The 45 liter, liter AT duffel weighs in at 33.6 ounces. The 60 liter AT duffel measures 23 in length, 14 inches in width, and 12 inches in height. The AT duffel is a fully submersible dry bag and is IP67 rated. The main body features fully welded seams and is constructed primarily out of a combination of 600D and 1000D RPET. The AT duffel is a true workhorse designed for longevity and durability. RPET stands for Recycled Polyethylene Terephthalate which is a fancy word way of saying recycled plastics, a material that is both environmentally conscious and completely hydrophobic. On the outside of the bag, starting at the top end, you will find one of two side carry handles. The grab handles are made up of 500D nylon webbing, which has been bar tacked, reinforced, and welded on both sides of the bag. Because of how it has been designed, these handles allow you to acquire a full purchase of the bag either single-handedly or with both hands to let you lift and load the bag but also stay out of the way when you're when not in use. These one inch nylon thumb loops are found on either side for leverage when operating the hefty Darylin tooth watertight AquaGuard zippers. As you would expect these zippers can be a bit tough to operate, so to help mitigate this, PDW has chosen to use 3mm cord and T-zip holes which in combination with the thumb loops lets you gain access to the bag's contents with relative ease. PDW does include some special zipper grease as well which with regular application will help increase the life and ease of use of these zippers. One of the most unique design features of the AT duffels is this built-in inflator nozzle. The spring-loaded valve allows you to not only express excess air from the inside of the bag to reduce its size, but also adjust the bag's buoyancy by either inflating or deflating the bag, allowing the bag to be used as a field expedient emergency flotation device. On opposing sides, you will find a daisy chain webbing, which provides additional attachment points for securing your bag to the back of your bike, roof rack, pack raft, or kayak. The color match loop panels provides a way to attach marking devices such as an MS-2000, or in this case, the Adventure Lights Trilobite, or as a way to display your PDW morale patches. Moving over to the top side, you will find padded handle haul straps and removable padded shoulder straps. The shoulder straps feature an ergonomic design that follows the natural shoulder curvature and multiple density closed cell foam padding for added comfort with minimal water retention. The excess straps can be tucked away using this integrated clip, which is nice as I hate having dangling straps. 
The main cavity is mostly featureless, except for the seven inch by six and a half inch internal hanging pocket, which is found on both the 45 liter and the 60 liter AT duffels. These hanging pockets are ideal for things like your cell phone, your wallet, and other small items, and can easily fit my iPhone 13 Pro with lots of room to spare. As far as sizing goes, I personally think that they are exactly the right size for what I use them for, like carrying my tent, sleeping bag, clothing, and other expedition essential gear. There are companies that make 75 liter or even 100 liter dry bags, but I personally think these are way too big and tend to create an uneven distribution of weight in your canoe, kayak, or pack raft. Should you flip your vessel, the bag's natural buoyancy will ensure that your gear remains safe and dry and increases the chances that you will be able to reacquire your gear downstream. And I love that the AT duffel can be used as an emergency flotation device. Even without inflating it, I can personally attest to the fact that the 45 liter duffel has no issues keeping me afloat. In conclusion, the AT duffels are a must have for anyone who spends any amount of time in or around water. And with all the thought and quality of craftsmanship that has gone into the, the design of these bags, it certainly puts the AT duffels in the premium space when it comes to dry bags. Each and every feature on the AT duffels are well thought out with everything you need and nothing that you don't. I hope you found this video informative and uh, tried to keep it a little bit brief, but if you do have any questions, that uh, maybe I didn't cover about the AT duffels that you want to know, go ahead and put it in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, um, do consider hitting that like and subscribe. And uh, I would consider hitting the alert um, button as well because that will ensure that you're notified anytime we post any new videos. And you'll definitely want to stay in tune to this channel for our next video in which we will be covering another much anticipated product from Prometheus Design Works line of AT all-terrain bags. We'll be checking out the all-terrain 24 liter pack so you won't want to miss that. Until then we'll see you guys outside.